I know for a fact there's a lot of gold here. Oh, oh gold right there. We got surface gold right there. There it is. Yay. Oh, wow. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. Today, we'll be gold panning at one of the most popular spots on Vancouver Island, also where I found really good gold the last time I was sniping here, and also where I first met this guy. Hello, everyone. The water is all wet. So since I haven't been here in a long time to use a gold pan, I decided just to walk around and just see where to go. Normally when I'm in this area, I'm sniping underwater when the water is higher. And usually when I'm here, I'm sniping in this corner because I always find gold here. But because this area gets really murky underwater, I was never able to crawl up this way. So because Dan brought his gold monster metal detector, I recommended he come here and kind of work this bedrock because I know for sure there should be gold right here. Hey Dan. I just saw some rock on the surface. A rock on the surface? Yeah, surface rock. Surface rock. Yeah. The reason I'm starting off with this spot is because how packed it is. All the material that you see in here slides off this smooth bedrock and then jam packs into this corner. Anytime you see a bunch of material packed into one spot, it usually suggests that there could be gold there. I am a monkey. Look at all that juicy material. Packed dirt, nice and uh, packed. So quick words of advice, you always wanna grab this stuff. You never wanna grab like this stuff, air. There's no gold in air. You, you always have to grab material. I took the beanie off because it is way too hot. I should actually make it a thing where I don't wear the beanie in the summertime because it's hot. I guarantee there's gonna be 40 ounces in this pan. Hey Dan. I'm gonna find 40 ounces today. Panorama number one. Let's see what's in it. No gold. That's your sister's method. Yeah, yeah you gotta stratify it. And then... Rinse it? Yeah, and then slowly let... Uh, <laughs> All right, so if my calculations were correct, there's gonna be 11 ounces. The idea is to find black sand. You don't want to find any gold because it's about the journey, not the ending. All right, let's give it a look, shall we? Ooh, lots of black sand. A lot of fly poop, nothing I'm gonna keep. The gold lets us know that there's black sand around, so. So my first pan didn't have much in it, which to be expected because I was only on the surface, but because I am panning, you might as well just pan all the material just in case. But ideally, once I get through this rock, this rock, and get to the very bottom where the bedrock is, that's where generally you're gonna find the better gold. Now let's see from right. Pan number two. If you like gold prospecting videos, please consider liking this video and subscribing so you don't miss another upload. I kind of forgot how nice gold panning was. And the gold? All right, what do we have here? Ooh, more fly poop. I'm gonna be sneaky. Okay, this is good looking material in here. I have high hopes for this. I had high hopes for the last one too. Here we go. What'd you get, boy? I got... <laughs> Ooh. Every bit as good as the last pen. For those of you who don't know what dallasite is, that's a piece of dallasite in its host rock. What do you say we cut this up and take it home? Perfect. Okay, let's do it. So like I was saying before, when I'm sniping, I love this little section here, and I think it's because the gold falls down here and then just gets stuck in these crevices, and I was never able to work up here. This is exactly what I wanted to do underwater, and Dan's actually finding clay, and that's normally where you're gonna find the bigger pieces of gold stuck into, but so far he's found nothing, but I think with a little determination, and if you hold this rock and you close your eyes and you believe, Dan, if you, well, So I'm gonna try one more deep pan in this and uh, I'm actually kind of like hoping I don't find anything nice because that means I gotta stay here. And I kind of wanna go over there and play with Dan. But I'm gonna do my best filling up the pan with pristine material out of this spot here and then uh, we'll go from there. Because I'm the most 
professional of camera operators, I've now set you in a tree. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this is the third pan from the spot. My hopes are really low, but uh, yeah. All right, moment of tooth. There we go, finally. One bigger piece of fly poop. A piece that I can suck up. <clears throat> I made a river. I'm pretty proud of that. Just look at that piece. It's huge. I won't tell Dan though. This will be our little secret. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna do one more pan out of that little section and then maybe decide what I'm gonna do after that. So Mr. Dan is calling me over to help move a rock. Luckily I have a stashed crowbar, so I'm gonna bring the bar over and help him out. Here you go. <laughs> Will it <that> work? <laughs> Let's give it a try, Dan. I think this one can come out now. Oh wow. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, this is exactly what I'd be doing underwater. But there's no water! I'm actually way more happy than you think to see this. I've always, always, always wanted to work in this area, but I just couldn't. So now I'm kind of creeping in on Dan. As long as one of us finds some gold today, I'll be happy. Uh, I found a little piece of fly poop. Oh, that's more than I found. Sorry, I know it was our secret. You broke my heart! Now I'm gonna break something of yours! So here's the last pan from the other spot. Hopefully last. If I find good gold in it, then I'll go back over there, but... Okay, let's see what there was. <laughs> Polly really stinks. <laughs> Polly really stinks. <laughs> Nothing but beans, boy. There's a couple rocks. One nugget. <laughs> oh, um, I'm probably gonna get, I don't know. Oh, oh gold right there. <laughs> yeah. Polly. Surface gold. Surface gold. Let's get a close up for that. We got surface gold right there. Focus! There it's focused. Piece of go oh. oh, it was focused. Ah. Look at that. Woohoo! You think you can get it with your fingers? I don't know, mate. Let's find out. Oh. Right there? Right there. It's a nugget. Compared to everything else we found today, it's a nugget. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. So, after finding our first piece of gold sitting on bedrock, it's obvious that we have to clear this bedrock very well. Paul's in there with his spoon, scraping carefully. I quit. All right, here is the pan from the good stuff. Let's hope, we'll see. We don't know, we'll try. So that piece of gold that I found on the surface, I put that in the pan. So if I lose it, bad. <laughs> here we go, what'd you find, Paul? Or what I lose. What'd you lose, Paul? Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. There's and another piece. one. And another one. All right, we're in the plus. There you have it. There's a piece of gold that I didn't lose. And another little one. Let's continue. Found another loose piece right in the bottom. Yes. Very bottom. So that yes. definitely is where gold can hide. Absolutely. A piece like that goes directly into the pan. So Dan did a good job getting down further into the bedrock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suck up all this material into the pan and then I'm gonna try to work even down low. So that might mean moving this, moving a couple of this stuff, putting Dan's bag in the water so we can just get uh, deeper bedrock. Dan is calling me over. Let's do the mighty reveal. <laughs> oh, she wants to see the gold. I totally wanna see the gold. Here we go. The mighty reveal. Dun, dun. There it is! Yay. Oh wow! Look. Woo! Oh, wow! Oh gods! It's a nice piece of candy. Wow. How do you feel? Oh yeah. Right on. Feels good. good at getting a piece. Yeah, finally. Finally. Woo. Woo! This motivates me to go even deeper. Like I was saying, I want to go down to here, maybe even inside of this rock. But really, the deeper you go along the bedrock, you, your chances to find gold are much, much higher. This is my second or third pan out of here. Uh, third or second, I don't know, I don't remember. But it's the next one, we'll see what's in it. I forgot how much work gold panning is. This could be either because I'm lazy or I'm a fish, a lazy fish. I just like sniping for gold instead. Okay, what did we find? Hmm. We found two more pieces of gold. If you imagine a nugget three miles away, that's what these two pieces look like. I'll suck those guys up just for funsies. Since you know so much about geology, Yeah. Is this epidobidmonite? Yes, it is. Epidobidmonite? Exactly. 
Thank you. Would you explain epidobinamonite? It is Polly's made up rock name. <gasps> with inclusions of Yes. We found that this rock is loose as well, but I don't know. It's pretty darn big. I know he's a beast, but I don't know if he can move that thing. I say don't challenge me while I'm in my bare feet. I'm really sore because I just got back to lifting weights, so I got no stretch, no strength in the bicep. So it forced me to work smart. S-M-R-D. Oh, this is going to be the shot here. How did I get this side of you again? <laughs> Hi, Dan. Well done, Paul. Yeah. That thing weighs more than you do. Yeah, 12 pounds. So I managed to move this big rock out of the way, and now we have a lot more material to play with. So me and Dan are gonna go like seagulls and have a frenzy to mine, try, mine, <laughs> mine, mine, mine. try to have a bunch of material to put in our pans. We have an audience now, too. I know for a fact there's a lot of gold here, but today Dan and I just aren't hitting it. Now Dan has already found a nice piece of gold which I admire and I tried to beat him but I couldn't yet. But overall we're not having the success that I had hoped for, but that's when people normally say it's about the adventure, right? It's all about the adventure. <laughs> and the gold. It's true, it is about the adventure, but also about the gold. However, there is still time. I may or may not call it quits fairly soon here because, not to complain, but I am very sore from overdoing it at the judo and gym. I might do one more pan or two from uh, our second hole here, and then we'll see. So, Paulie's going for one more pan. Paul, you haven't done too well today. <laughs> what are your thoughts with that? Uh, the real adventure today is getting to hang out with him. Uh, absolutely loving hanging out with him today. I have uh, low expectations for this one, but hey, it's okay. It's okay, Paul. It's okay. Okay. Here we go. Come on, okay. Paul. Is it about the gold or is it about the adventure? It's the adventure. Unless you find gold, then it's all about the gold. Uh, it's both. It's about both. It's about both. We got something? Yes. Oh, isn't it cute? Aww. Oh, let's see if I can zoom in on that. There we are. Paul's last pan of the day. He <laughs> finds his biggest piece of the day. <laughs> I'm going to dump out the snuffer. There you be. It's about the gold and the adventure. But look it, we still did find a little bit of gold and it doesn't matter what size it is because... So this gold unfortunately isn't enough to weigh so I'm gonna end this video right here. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or follow me on my social media if you wanna see anything else extra. Also, if you wanna see anything exclusive, I do have a Patreon account open for your pleasure. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, bye.